Apple have just released OS Sequoia. Unfortunately, this updated OS no longer supports Macs made before 2016. But there is a way around this. Dortania have been working hard for the last two years to produce a piece of software called OpenCore Legacy Patcher. OpenCore Legacy Patcher enables unsupported Macs to run latest OS. This is done by patching old hardware and in this video I will show you how to make a bootable USB. I'll make this video as quick and as easy to follow as possible but if you do have any problems please drop them in the comments below and I'll try my best to help. Please pay attention to all the steps as if you don't follow these steps correctly your machine may not recognize the USB and may cause stability issues down the line. If you found this video helpful please like and consider subscribing to help the channel grow. This Mac I'm using is a 2011 and is running OS Big Sur. Now the first thing you want to do is head over to your browser and search for OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Select the top result. Click Getting Started. And then on the left hand side, Creating Mac OS Installers. Click here. Click OpenCore Legacy Patcher Release Apps. And scroll down to the latest release and select GUI. If you click this to download, this may take a little while depending on your internet connection speed. Once downloaded, double click to run application, click open. Once open, you want to create OS installer, download Mac installer, this will find the available software, yeah, and you want to click Sequoia, click download, once this is downloaded it's going to verify the Mac OS installer, again this may take some time. Right, with that complete, you want to click Yes to create installer. Then select the OS that we've just downloaded, Sequoia. Now select the USB drive. Click Yes. Now the important part, we need to transfer the EFI folder onto the USB so that your system can boot. Click yes. Install to disk. Now select your USB drive that you've installed OS on. Click the EFI folder. This will update the EFI folder on the USB so when you restart the machine it recognizes it as an installing USB. Now it's asking you to reboot. Make sure you press command when your machine boots. Once your, once your machine's booted, you want to select Install Mac OS Sequoia. Depending on how old your machine is, this may take a while. Now we're into the installation itself. You want to click down to Disk Utility. Now this is where I said about backing up your machine. First of all, you want to click All Volumes. And then you want to select your hard drive that's inside the machine. Click Erase, leave these fields as they were and give the hard drive a name. Click Erase, this is formatting the hard drive. Once this is complete, you can click, click close, now exit, and now you can install OS Sequoia. Double click on this, click continue, click agree, Now select your hard drive inside the machine and click continue. This is going to install OS Secure onto your hard drive. It may take a while. The installation process took about 20 minutes and you want to go through the setup as you would 
any other installation of Mac OS. Put your Wi-Fi password in. Skip all these steps if you must. Creating account. Now you will be greeted with the home screen. The installation process will restart the machine a few times, so don't panic, it's doing its thing. Now log in, and here we are on the home screen. Right now we need to check for root patch updates. Um, as you can see, this is updated to Sequoia. So if you click applications, and then scroll down to open core legacy patcher, open this. Now we want to double check that there is no root patches required. The chances are it's installed it successfully, so you won't need to do this, but we'll double check. As you can see, there is no root patching required. So you can close this and select build and install open core. This is going to update the EFI folder onto the hard drive so that you don't need the USB to boot. select install to disk now it's important now that we select the hard drive in the machine so samsung evo for me ignore this pop-up click efi folder this is now going to install open core to the hard drive once this process is finished it's going to ask you to reboot select reboot and your machine should now boot into Mac OS without the USB drive. If you follow all those steps correctly, you should now be booted into Mac OS Sequoia. If you have any problems, please leave them in the comments section below and consider subscribing for more videos.